There's a North Carolina ad that I'm going to play for you. It's controversial, but it's not a Republican ad. It's actually a Democratic ad being put out there by state Senate candidate Deb Butler. Now, the ad slams Tom Goolsby for supporting some anti-abortion legislation. And in the ad, she actually has, in a starring role, that transvaginal ultrasound probe. I mean, it's, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen one of these things, Lewis, but it's, it's quite large. It is. And I'm, I, my question is, what do you think about this? Is this just shocking for the sake of being shocking? Does it really add to, is it, here's my real question. Is this equivalent to showing the graphic abortion images that the anti-abortionists will show in, uh, in their videos? Or does this really add to the discussion about what the policy is? Here's the ad, it's 30 seconds. I'm Deb Butler, and I think we need to have a candid conversation about what Tom Goolsby's policies actually mean to North Carolina women. He wouldn't dare show so you So there this. it is, there's the but probe. But this is Goolsby's contribution to women's health, a medically unnecessary invasive procedure that is now required by state law. He promised us that his first priority would be jobs. All right, so there's, there's the important part of the ad. What do you think, Lewis? Valid, useful, insightful, or uh, is it pandering the same way? That is, it, is it shocking for the sake of being shocking, like the, 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 the graphic abortion images? No, um, I think there's a pretty big difference. This is a bit more tasteful. I mean, if she wanted to stoop to that level, she would show someone getting this shoved in them. Um, well, you couldn't actually get that on television. That's the thing. Well, yeah, you probably could. You just wouldn't be able to show certain things. Okay, all right, well, whatever. Whatever the case may be. Yeah. So you think this is different? It is different, and it's, it's, I mean, it's something he proposed and that he forced on other people. Uh, I think it's perfectly legitimate. Natan, couldn't the other side say this is something equivalent to uh, 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 the, the abortions that the left wants to force, and there is no difference between this and showing the abortion images. I mean, for a party that prides itself on having the position that, uh, you know, the government shouldn't get involved uh, between the patient and the doctor, this is literally uh, going right in between the patient and the doctor, and, and it seems like it's purely political. Interesting. So you disagree with Lewis? I do. Interesting. Very good. It, it, is, it is purely political, no doubt about that. But, but you're okay with it? But it's, I mean, this is, you're getting, this is getting to the root of it. I mean, are, you, are you okay with the graphic abortion images? That is not political. How is abortion not a political issue? It's not stemming from a political issue. It's not stemming from politics. That I don't is, know. That, I, that I, is stemming, I, that's stemming from, from uh, religious uh, ideologues. I hear what both of you guys are saying. Obviously, personally, my personal political preferences are that I think that this ad is great and it's great to show this. That being said, I need to be aware that am I, am I having a double standard because I happen to agree with this ad and not with the idea that left-wingers want more abortions. Last thought on this. Some government mandates are very, very bad from the point of view of the right wing. Others, like the mandatory penetration of women who want legal abortions, those are perfectly fine with the right wing. Th those mandates are perfectly okay. Yeah, I think it's perfectly okay to expose the, the ridiculousness of, uh, of what this lawmaker uh, put into place. Uh, I do not see this as the same thing as those abortion videos. Tell me what you think.